Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, my name is Nacy Chin and I'm the Labour candidate for East Coast Base. So I'm starting my vlog today to kind of um, keep track of what I'm doing on my campaign journey for you guys to kind of go behind the scenes and to see what happens behind closed doors sometimes. And also to give you guys some updates on you know newly announced policies, news, things that are happening, where to look out for and just raise awareness on some of the key issues that I I think are so important that every New Zealander needs to understand when making the big decision on the 23rd of September. What I'll also be doing is I'll be commenting or responding to anything I see across all of my social media platforms. So having said that, if you want to ask me a question, see where I stand on an issue, then drop a line below in the comment section and I'll get back to you through these videos. So as I started running for Labour, a lot of people have asked me one single question the most is why Labour? And so today and I thought I would start my vlog by telling you guys a little bit about myself and what I've been through in order for me to end up on this journey right now, um, fighting for Labour in the 2017 campaign. I came to New Zealand when I was five with my parents who were both doctors back in China. They decided to come to New Zealand because they thought that coming to New Zealand would give me a better start in life and they really did. In 1999, if you guys remember, it was Helen Clark's first year in government and really through the Clark administration what they did was they helped every young person realise that everybody was equal, everyone had potential and this society could live in harmony together no matter which country you came from but together we enjoyed you know the sense of having one identity and that was being Kiwi and so as I progressed through intermediate high school I, I've been a short girl all my life so I went to Takapuna Normal Intermediate and I went to West Lake Girls High School I did a lot of music I got really involved in the orchestras and bands I played double bass tuba flute and piano I was just you know heavily heavily involved in music and so when it came to uni I really wanted to be a full-time orchestral conductor but my parents you know being the Asian parents that they are they said they were only accept their child, their daughter being either a doctor, a engineer or a lawyer so I chose the third option and so I started my degree at Auckland Uni with an LLB and BA conjoint majoring in music and economics so I had the best of both worlds and with this wonderful and kind of weird degree I was able to experience a lot through my part-time job. I've had a working position in a boutique family law firm, some really really bad stuff that we've had to witness and help people get through and I've also been a stage manager as well for some of the biggest Chinese performers that on tour coming to New Zealand. I staged managed the first marriage festival in New Zealand, 200 couples getting, they were renewing their vows and so could you imagine 200 full on bridal gowns on one theatre stage, that was absolutely a nightmare at that time. And so what happened after that was that I became the president of the New Zealand Chinese Students Association and through my role there in 2016 at the beginning there were international students being attacked for their personal belongings. The attacks were happening on Queen Street so in a very very busy road in Albert Park with lots of other students and also on a tertiary institute campus. And so no one was doing anything about it. I don't know if you guys know but the international student market every year is worth 2.48 billion dollars to the New Zealand economy and this negative effect was being broadcasted on Chinese national television and that was really really bad. As a New Zealander I don't want New Zealand to have that kind of reputation overseas and uh, as someone who has a Chinese heritage I don't want Chinese people to feel like New Zealand is somewhere unsafe because that is definitely not true. It's just the way that the government responded which is basically no way at all left me very very worried and so what we did was that we got together a a lot of politicians, MPs, councillors from local board, also the police, Education New Zealand, lots of other government bodies and all of the schools, the deputy vice chancellors etc all came, 200 people from the public also came and said we needed some changes. So after that public meeting all of the lights in Albert Park were now changed to a higher voltage light bulb and also the international student well-being strategy was rewritten. And so kind of through that experience it made me realise that wow every single citizen has a duty to make our country a better place and make New Zealand a better country on the global stage really and it also made me realize that New Zealand is such a beautifully democratic country that if someone 
is pushing for the right reasons, the government will respond. However, it did also get me very frustrated at the speed that they responded and also that they didn't take initiative during a, uh, a real crisis like this. And so that's why I'm here running for Labour. I don't think it's hard to tell that the Labour values have always been my values, that I believe in equality and I believe in fear and fairness and justice. And through my work every day at the Auckland District Courts, what I see is even though they may be offenders or they are vi uh, also I work with the victims as well, just they're products of a really bad social system. What that means is that some people become criminals because they are forced to, that the government doesn't give them adequate care and guidance so that they can use their time and energy on the right stuff. Over and over again, I've seen young people who have to go onto the road of becoming a criminal because their families don't look after them, because they don't have enough money to support their family, because they don't know what else to do with their energy and their time. And you know what? That is a failure of the government. And so that's why I've decided to stand for Labour this year. I believe that this country deserves a better government, a Prime Minister who actually cares about their people and believe in young people. You know, I was sold on Andrew Little's first policy when he spoke to me, and that was three years of free education for school graduates. And I know that that will change the future of New Zealand when we have every single young person either in employment or in education. We know that that's going to make our communities safer and we know that's going to drive the economy to make New Zealand a more prosperous country. And hopefully you'll also join me on this journey as I not only run in East Coast Base to become a local MP, but also to run in the whole country to make young people more aware of the issues that are so important to every single person. And also, if you are interested in joining my team, then check out in the comments section, there's a Google form that you can fill out and we can talk to you a little bit more about what it means to get involved in the whole entire campaign. And also, if you want to support us, then there's also another link there. Um, just any little bit of money would really, really help us and it would be so much more more appreciated. Thank you so much.